Well, it's morning and we're getting ready to start and sleeping on it always gives me some good ideas or reevaluating what we're doing so one thing i decided was i initially was going to do two posts because i was having a heavy beam going across here i'd do one post right here and one post over there keep them about three foot in or four foot in from the end i've since decided after thinking about it yeah, I was starting to think about it yesterday, and then after last night I was thinking about it more. I'm going to double that to four posts. A little worried about the car doors, you know, maybe being in the way, but it's a long carport. So there's some flexibility in where you park. And even if I put two posts quite near each other, that way if one post gets hit, which it shouldn't, but if it does... It'll probably have no effect on the roof because you still have three others supporting it in case someone bumps one out of position. So that's my logic. We're going to go with four posts on each port. So four posts here and then four posts over here. Um, number two, I was thinking about the overlap of the aluminum because I'm really set on using that white aluminum for all of it. Um, the slope is not a four pitch, it's not even a three pitch. So I'm gonna do a video of that later because I, I was trying to think like, how can I calculate the headlap? Because all the charts, they only go to like three pitch. They never go beyond that. But yeah, mathematically, you sh I should be able to figure it out. And so I'm gonna do some mathematics on the headlap chart and that'll give me an idea. I have, I have a hunch. Well, I've already kind of decided I'm going to go with a one foot overlap, but we'll talk more about that. But I want to see if the, if I do some calculations on the headlap charts for roofing, if it brings me to about that same calculation or same overlap. Okay, I'm going to get started on, I also decide I'm going to get some supports in. I really, well, I kind of decided that yesterday. I'm going to get a bunch of supports in. And I want to build this beam out a little bit more. Ideally, I would love to get this whole end built out and then put our first post in. But I'm not sure. Depends on the laps. I need to offset all these joints. So here we have a, a two foot and a joint. The one inside is, actually I'm not sure. I think it's uh, almost, a, it's like a nine foot and a joint. And we have an eight foot in a joint. So I'm thinking I should do one out to about here, which I think was five feet. And then I can at least bring it out two layers. Maybe I can bring it out three. Okay, let's get started. Oh, we also have a lot of nailing to do. And we're going to put continue putting supports on the inside as we go down through because that works really nice. It is a lot of weight, especially green lumber. That's the, that's the big factor. If this was dried, it would go down a lot, but then the workability would be different too. Right now, it's, it doesn't split, really. I mean, it can split, but it's unlikely to split, so I'm not really denting the ends or flattening the ends of the nails. And slivers is greatly decreased. Okay, let's get to work. <laughs> 